thank you for joining this lesson. We're going to look at the solution of triangles, that is the application of cosine rule and the sine rule. Remember to subscribe to this channel and to also share the link with friends. Number 21. The figure below represents two neighboring plots with QR as their common boundary. So as you can see the triangle here, these are two neighboring plots. Then uh, QR, is this length, is now their common boundary. Find to two decimal places, part one, the length of boundary PQ. So the boundary PQ, uh, we can label it length R because it is the length which is opposite to angle R. Then we know very well that uh, according to triangle PQR, the length which is opposite P will be called small letter P. The length opposite to Q will be called small letter Q. And now we usually say according to the cosine rule, length R squared is the same as P squared plus Q squared, then minus 2 multiplied by P multiplied by Q, the cosine of the angle at R. So in this case now, we're going to say R squared will be equal to, now P equals to 20. P equals to 20 squared plus 35 squared minus 2 multiplied by 35 multiplied by 20 the cosine of 52 degrees. So when you compute this, you get R squared equals to 763 point zero seven then the value of R will be 27.62 according to the exam instructions must be in two decimal places. The other question is the length of the boundary RS. Boundary RS now, we are now going to use another triangle. When we are talking about RS, we are now on triangle QRS. And in this triangle, the length opposite to R, the one now which we will call R, the length opposite to Q will be called Q, the length opposite to S will be called S. So now we call this length S now, because we are referring to a very different triangle. All right, the length RS is the one which is unknown. We can fill a few of these uh, angles because this is 52, then it means the bigger angle here is 128 degrees, which means the smaller angle at the corner here will be 34 degrees. Uh, the first one here, angles on a straight line, add up to 180 and 34. It's because angles in a triangle should also give us 180. Therefore, when we take 180 and we subtract 128 and 18, then the remaining angle will be 34. Now we can talk about uh, the sine rule. Sine rule usually says, if it is for these triangles, remember we want to, we are using specifically QRS. So we can say the length Q, divide by sine of the angle at Q, we should get the same as the length R out of the sine of the angle at R, and we also get the same as the other length is a S, length S, out of sine of the angle at S. So for this case, the only part which can help us is S and Q, such that we'll say length Q divided by the sine of the angle at Q is 34 degrees. This is equal to length S, which is a length S I can see is 20 
Yeah, length S is 20. Out of sine of the angle at S, which is 18. So for us to remain with Q now, we have to multiply 20 by the sine of 34. Then we divide by the sine of 18. This length is going to be 20, the sine of 34, divided by the sine of 18. This gives us 36.19. 36.19. These are meters, remember. Then we are also talking about angle RQS. RQS, we have already determined it as 34 degrees. But remember, we are finding to two decimal places. Therefore, we have to be very careful with the instructions. Then area of triangle QRS. QRS now the triangle on the on the right hand side we just need two sides and the sign of an angle in between them for example the length of q the length of s then uh, the angle in between them is 128 therefore we can follow the formula which says that the uh, area of a triangle sorry your area equals to half. We can use a length like a SQ. Then sign off the angle between them, which is the angle at R. Yeah, the angle at R. So now we'll be substituting half multiplied by length s which is 20 I think so then uh, length q which has just been calculated up there 36.19 then sine of 128 degrees when we compute this 0 0.5 times 20 times 36.19 times sine of 128 I'm going to get 285 0.19 square meters